everyone, welcome back to another video and this is a random haul. So, two different shops, one little haul for you. So I'm going to go through everything I got and if you want to see any videos of swatches or you know a full face of first impressions or anything because I can assure you what I have bought will stay in the packet for a while. I am still quite poorly with my sinusitis and my chest infection so I do apologise if the, you know, if I do sound very strange but let's get on to the video. The first things I got are from Pound Stretcher, these were like 99p each and they're professional tools, hypoallergenic, just makeup sponges. You just get all different shapes in there. Um, you know, they are cheap and cheerful, but they're not really for my makeup, they're actually for my special effects stuff. The next thing I picked up from Pound Stretcher was this Scandalize eyeshadow stick, and that was only a pound. So you've got to really look and you can find great deals like this. And the next thing, well, things are, these were £1.49 each, and they are NYC nails, and they're actually trio packs. So you get three in each one for £1.50. I've never actually tried them, but I will do a video trying each one out, like one on each finger, and just see if they are any good. So there's quite a few different shades in there. One, the mint macaroon one actually looks like a really nice summer colour. Can't wait to try those out. The next thing are Simply Cotton cosmetic pads. It's 500 in there for £3. Ooh. Can't go wrong really with cosmetic pads. There's nothing more I can actually say about them. So that was everything from Pound Stretcher. I then went on to Asda. So from Asda I got some large oval cotton wool pads. Two the skin to system um, skincare wipes, one for oily combination skin and one for all skin types. They were literally like 65p each, so I thought they were just worth a try. Oh, I can't wait for this uh, sinusitis to go, it's absolutely doing my head in. Next thing, I found a little bargain bucket um, on a couple of shelves hiding at the back of the store and I was having a really good route and I picked up these two Miracle Minute Eraser sponges from Real Techniques. They should have been £6 and they were £3. I were going to get two lots of them but I just picked up one but I'm sure that next time I go if they have any more I'll pick up some more because I thought they'd be perfect for under eye concealer and around my massive problematic nose. The next thing I picked up in the bargain bucket was these Real Techniques by Sam and Nick of course. Um, I have quite a few of their brushes. It's a five tool any lip look, prep and colour lip set, limited edition, online tutorial for beautiful looks from start to finish. Apparently the RIP on this is £19.99, it was £8, I got it for £5.50. £5.50. You get a little holder as well, it's hung with four brushes and I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Them brushes are, of course, they look perfect because they are by Sam and Nick. Again, from the bargain bucket, um, I was quite, I'll go over one that I am quite disappointed with. I picked up these lip paint matte ones from L'Oreal Paris. They should have been £5 and they were £3.20 each and this was like the rest of them, not open. And when I opened it up, it rolled right up and that brush is a mess. It's just when it goes on it just feels really strange so I'm not quite gutted about that but I've not tried the rest of them yet again these were all £3.20 each that shade that was all funky and messed up was Babe In 211 next we have Apocalypse Red the lighting I'm so sorry is terrible then we have Hollywood Beige. 
and Wuthering Purple, which was stunning. So I can't wait to give them a try. The next few items are by George themselves and these are in Flirt and Seduction. These were £1.25 each and they're eyelashes. So Seduction and Flirt. They look very, very long so I might have to cut them down. I just want to see how they feel. I've never actually tried George eyelashes before so we'll give them a good try. These next items were £2 each and they're both mascaras. We have Mascara Curlum, which is here, and I will show you the brush. Oh, there. And the next one is Big Flirt Mascara. And they were marked. Like, look like it had been used, but I'm not sure. I hope not. Um, the next thing I picked up was this George Precision Felt Tip Liner in black. I've not opened it, so I'll let you know how. Again, if you want the first impressions, let me know. I can't even remember how much that worked. It might be £1.75 or £2. Next, we have this Stay Put Lip Gloss, and this is in the colour Creme Brulee. It's a very, very thin, cheap feeling design. Not a bad shade, really. Next up, these were one pound seventy-five each, reduced from four pound, and these are the tint and pout. And these are in coral case, make me blush. I love that colour. And barely there. So again. Let me know if you want the first impressions. Uh, we have this Get Glossy Lip Gloss Vibrant Shine. Again, it's just a gloss. I actually really like the packaging on this one. It's really nice packaging. It's quite a big product as well. You get 6ml. And then lastly from the George range, we have George Get Set Mineral Setting Powder, which I am quite fond of. I have used this before, so this is a repurchase. I have four Rimmel items. We have the Scandalize Coal um, Eyeliner, along with Waterproof, and it's very creamy. It's like a crayon. We have just another just Rimmel eyeliner. I haven't tried this for years and I had to repurchase it and it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. And I saw this advertised for £4 on offer and it's the Scandal Scandalize Reloaded Volume and Extreme Wear Waterproof. And I thought, whoa, that looks absolutely amazing, Summer Essential, love the packaging, it looks fantastic. And that was £4. So then I went over to the actual Rimmel stand because that was at the end of the aisle. And I saw another Rimmel mascara for £4. And I just grabbed it and stuck it in my trolley. I've got back and it's exactly the same thing, just in different packaging. Well, I think it is. But of course, I haven't actually opened them yet just to see if they've got different ones. But I have a feeling. Yeah. The writing, everything's exactly the same, so I have a feeling I've just bought exactly the same mascara twice. So that is absolutely everything from this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, I do apologise about my chest infection and being really sinusy and nasally. It will go. My videos, of course, will get better. If you want to see any swatches or first impressions or anything, you know what to do comment below and you'll also find all my other social media links below leading to my Facebook page, Twitter, Snapchat and I'll leave a link to my vlogging channel. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope you continue to watch more of my videos. Bye!